Okay, what I'm going to do is show people how to uh, get a podcast powered out of WordPress, and we're going to get it into the iTunes library. At least for me, it wasn't super obvious how to get the podcast listed in the uh, iTunes Music Store, which was a little surprising to me, and I could be just being an idiot here, but usually everything Apple does is so dead on easy that you, that, uh, you, know, you could be brain dead and still figure it out, but I guess I'm beyond brain dead because I couldn't figure it out without looking around for a few minutes. Anyhow, here we are with webbyonline.com. This should look familiar to you. Now what I'm going to do is show you the control panel for Webby Online. Now obviously I'm power, powering uh, this site with WordPress. You'll see here that I have a menu option called PodPress. Now that is the uh, plugin that I have installed with Webby Online in order to power the podcast. Uh, this is one of the screens of uh, the podcast plugin where you can set up uh, all the options that you have, your feed URL, your title for your podcast, uh, set up your images, the whole nine yards. And we've got other settings here. Now, basically, search for PodPress on uh, Google, download it, install it if you want to power your podcast out of WordPress because it is the best way that I know of to do a podcast out of the uh, WordPress software. However, what we've done is, here, go back over to Webby Online for a second. I have got a lot of posts here that don't have any podcast attached to it. So what I wanted to have done was that I want my feed to still work, but have a separate feed uh, just for the podcast that I can uh, submit into iTunes. So let's so go over to this uh, third tab here. This is because I use Google Reader, but this URL right here, check that out. It's actually a way of pulling up a feed specifically to the category. So you'll see over on WordPress, I have got these list of categories here. I've got one category called podcast. Whenever I post something that has to do, that has a podcast attached to it, I assign it to that category. If we go, let's click on this feed, you're gonna probably see a feed burn. No, we'll come right back here again. But this feed right here, category podcast, if you just, let's do this right here. Uh, copy link, let's paste that, and let's take the feed off. Now if you go to this, you're going to see that what we're looking at are just the posts from that category that are on webbyonline.com. Just simply by adding the word feed to it, we are now pulling the feed. And of course it's prompting me to add it to Google Reader because that's what I use for my RSS feeds. So that is your URL that you can use to pull out specifically your podcast. And then uh, what I use is FeedBurner to, uh, to create the feed that's friendly for iTunes because FeedBurner takes care of all that stuff for you. Here I have, I've set this thing up. Now let's go into Edit Feed Details and you'll see right here, here is the domain or the, uh, the URL to the feed that I just showed you. That's how it's pulling specifically the podcast. And then when you set it up in FeedBurner, what you want to do is make sure you click that it is a podcast feed. And then what FeedBurner will do is all the work necessary to make the feed compliant with iTunes. Now let's switch on over to iTunes because this is where I was, this is the screen, but let's show you how to get to it. You're going to first go to the iTunes Music Store. Let's click on Home here, I guess it is. Here we go. Now this, just so you know, is version 7 of iTunes, which I believe as of now is the most recent one. <clears throat> so what you're going to do is click on iTunes Store, you're going to see Podcast, going to click on that. It's basically just like surfing the web except you're in iTunes. And then you want to scroll all the way down here to the bottom where it says Learn More, and you'll see right here it says Submit a Podcast. There is where we're going to put our feed URL. So what we're going to do is go back over to Firefox, Let's, this is highlighted. Let's go ahead and copy that. Go back to iTunes. Paste it in. And actually, you know what? I, I actually messed up here because what we want to do is we want to put the feed burner URL in here, not the one directly to my site. That way we can track subscriptions and things like that via feed burner. So let's head on back over. Uh, here is uh, the main screen for the feed and feed burner, and uh, you'll see the RSS icon here. Just go ahead and right click and say uh, copy link location because this is, you can see down there in the corner, this is the, uh, the main link to my feed. So now we've got that copy to the clipboard. 
Let's head on back over here. Sticker in. There's the uh, the main URL. Click continue. Ah, wants my password. That's fine. Go ahead and continue. And there we go. I've just submitted it to the iTunes Store. And it says, uh, please note that the podcast you have requested to add to the iTunes Store will not immediately appear in the store. It may be reviewed before being posted. Thank you for your submission and for your interest in podcasting. Great. Well, there we go. We've got it in uh, iTunes. So what I'm going to do at this point is just hit done. And we're back in the store. So hopefully people will begin to find the uh, podcast in iTunes soon.